Rajiv Mamani, let me get you in uh, on this aspect as well, on how global investors are viewing the India story at this point in time and what you believe uh, will be the India advantage that can be leveraged. Yeah, I would say by and large when people come uh, from different parts of the world and they come to India, the general optimism in India is right now probably very high. I think the budget delivered a very good message in terms of government's focus on macroeconomics. I, the the, the uh, investments in infrastructure and the multiplier impact of that, fiscal deficit, so on and so forth. So I would say by and large they are very excited about India. Uh, they want to invest more. Uh, and I'm talking more about not so much people who are investing in the markets, but much more about private equity, venture yeah. capital, foreign direct investment, strategic investors. So they are, I, I think, and some of the things that have happened, some very bold decisions over the last four, four maybe last year, year and a half, including the one on Vodafone right now. I, I think that's also opening up the minds of people to say, yes, if the government really wants, they can move, they, they can move things. So overall, very positive. Uh, and Shireen, the, the, the main thing is for, from a manufacturing standpoint, yeah. I still think that the investors, uh, you know, unless they're in very, very specific sectors, if people are looking at large tracts of land, if people are looking at some labor issues and you know, how they resolve that, if someone wants to export, you know, a couple of billion dollars from India to three billion dollars, mm. the red carpet and the path for that is still not clear. So how the central government and state government work mm. together to make that happen? Mm. I think that will be very, very important. Because so you're, you're saying there's still a question mark there? It's not a question mark. I would say there is, there is still ambiguity to say, okay, how do we do it? Suppose I want to manufacture something, textiles or toys or some, you know, more labor intensive industries. And I really want to hire 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 mm. people. Are there enough examples for me to say, okay, or someone can help me guide through the whole process and say, how do I get 100 acres of land? Can I create a building uh, right. structure around me so that people can work? What are the labor laws? Will people work two shifts, three shifts? Can I get? So those kind of really details. And that's where I think if we can work and create some templates of that, then that would be very, that, that would be very useful. And